if you're trying to bond new concrete to old concrete, but the old concrete is really oily, that's one of the worst situations because you definitely can't try to pour new concrete on that. There's no way that it's going to bond on there. And oil's really hard to get rid of. One of the, one of the worst things, most things an acid wash is gonna take care of. But, and even just like the tiniest bit of a couple of drops, that's not, that's not gonna be a problem. But if your garage used to be an oil chain shop and you wanna recoat the floor in there, forget about it. You're gonna have to take some pretty extreme measures here. What are those measures? I think the I think the biggest tool in your arsenal would be Varsol. I would soak the floor with Varsol in order to penetrate into the concrete and kind of break up that oil that's in there. And hopefully that will be enough such that you can put something like sawdust on there afterwards to then now soak up all the Varsol. And then at that point, I would rinse very thoroughly. And then I would do a TSP rinse in addition to that. Uh, and that's how I would deal with oily concrete. If you really have a lot of oil saturated in, don't proceed to an acid wash because it will bake in those oils. And then that's it. You're not getting it out of there. So that's what I would do is I would use some kind of degreaser in order to accomplish that. I've also had some luck with a simple green product. And, you know, even just the TSP on its own for, you know, a light duty problem with oil, I think would be okay. Um, but if I really want to remove oil, the really the only solution to that is using Barsol and really letting it penetrate in there, giving it a little while overnight at minimum to do its job, and then using something to absorb all that Barsol, rinse it off thoroughly, give it a TSP scrub with four parts TSP and one part water, and, you know, Oh, I think I got that backwards. One part, <laughs> one part. It'll say right on here. Yeah, one part TSP, four parts hot water. That's what I thought. I did get that backwards. Four parts water, obviously, or else it would just be <laughs> some congealed granules in the bottom that are a little bit moist. So, and that's the idea there. You need to make sure that your concrete is completely free of any oil before you try to bond new concrete onto it because it's absolutely not going to and the nature of the way that you bond concrete is you don't just do it on the surface layer it needs to bond integrally through the the top quarter inch or so of the concrete and that's why that oil can't be there because that's such an important part of the bond process that is getting interrupted so if you're bonding oily concrete start with varsol if you don't have that or it's a light duty application, you can use a TSP slurry or some kind of like natural degreaser like a simple green product. Thoroughly rinse it and then neutralize it with TSP uh, and then I would be ready to bond new concrete to that. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.